Hi, Oscar. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing, Reagan? I'm doing really well. I'm looking forward to connecting with you today. Absolutely. Let's get into it. So for those of you who are watching, this is Oscar Malera. He is an RIS site manager, and we're going to be speaking about Pride Month today. Um, so Oscar, how does it feel for you as a member of the LGBTQ plus community to bring your full self to work every day? To me, it's a very empowering and um, confidence building topic when it comes to me being out and proud at work. I feel like being out and proud allows me to humanize myself to other people and allows me to change the narrative that so many people have against our community. And it lets me show them that we are just as hardworking and just as valid as they are in their experiences. And what advice do you have for somebody who um, wants to come out at work? I think coming out at work is a very big thing. And the first step is definitely making sure that you are confident and fully accepting of yourself and that sometimes means doing a little bit of self-discovery because even when I came out there was a lot more to learn about me than I knew at the moment that I did come out so it's learning to be really confident with yourself and knowing that there is a narrative and place in the workplace for our community and having grace when you're opening up to conversations is very important because people are curious and they're just as curious about you as you were about you and to that end, what are some of your top tips for allies who want to be better partners at work? Um, to me, the biggest, I think, topic on that is um, understanding that our goals and our achievements may look different than yours. Um, what we consider to be successful and what we consider to be an achievement definitely does look different to those who aren't in our community. And that's okay. And learning how to be accepting of that and embracing that with open arms is very important. And also when you talk about allyship, there's also involvement of leaders. So as it relates to leaders at Ronstadt, what do you think they can do to create a better inclusive working environment? Um, my experience with Ronstadt has been wonderful. Um, they are very opening and embracive towards our community. Um, I've always said the best way that a leader can be embracing to us is to um, just be inclusive and allow open space for open expression. And so Ronstadt very does that. When it came to our holiday party, I showed up in my very feminine gear, my very, very feminine attire to say. I was in heels and leggings and just my, I was my true self for a party and I was very embraced and um, no one showed me anything different than respecting. It was really empowering to know that I'm part of a company that does embrace openly and lovingly the LGBT community. And to further that, have you, have you been able to be your true self at a company prior? Um, I was actually self-employed before coming to Ronstadt. So I did run my business as my true self. And one of my fears coming into uh, a, a job position where I wasn't my own boss was going to be um, how I was going to be allowed to be myself. And there has not been a single day where I've been upset with Ron Stodd's ability to show my true self-expression. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And that's extremely important. Mm -hmm. Well, how are you celebrating Pride this year? So Pride is a very big thing for me and my friend group. So I'm probably going to be celebrating Atlanta and National Pride, and we're going to be celebrating in the park and going out and having a great nightlife with it. <laughs> Sounds like fun. We try. We try. I try to remember it all. <laughs> <laughs> well, definitely have fun and celebrate for me. Um, Oscar, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me and sharing your insights. Um, it definitely matters. And... Just thank you so much. Thank you for the space. Thank you so much. You're welcome.